Good morning, Sheila. How are you? Good morning, Wayne. I'm great. How are you today? I am I am happy and having fun and I'm doing well. And golly, it's so always so good to talk to you on Thursdays. Oh, oh thank my you. Goodness. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Highlight of my week too. Ah, and welcome everyone to 27 Minutes with Sheila and Wayne, where we explore the fascinating world of verbs and their impact on our daily lives. Join us each week as we delve into the different ways verbs shape our language and influence our lives as we attempt to make a positive difference in our world, one verb at a time. <laughs> and Sheila, what might our verb be today? Today's verb is to reply. And before we go into definitions, I have a trivia question, actually kind of two trivia questions Ooh. to answer at the end of the show. So people can be thinking about this question while we're while we're writing um, or while we're talking, uh, the first question is, what year was the first text message sent? And then how does that compare to how many text messages were sent in 2020? Hmm. So there we okay. go. Okay. All right. What year um, okay. was the first one and how many in 2020? Uh -huh. right, right, right. Okay. So, and the reason that... Um, we I picked text message sending is that often you reply to a text message or an ah. email. Um, but the definitions that I've got here first are number one, say something in response to something someone has said. Now, okay. that's kind of like she sells seashells at the seashore. Um, <laughs> but then they said it can be in words or writing, not just verbal conversation. And the other one is to do something in response. Uh -huh. And I know that you have many more definitions, so let's hear them. You know, I only have four definitions this time. Oh, okay. And I and I scoured. I got my toothbrush out and I scoured the oh, okay. the, the dictionaries and internet, and I only came up with four. Well, so, let's hear them. All right. The first first one is to answer. Ha. Okay. All right. And the second one was to react to an action by someone else. So I'm thinking, okay. okay, react to an action by someone else. Okay, I know what that is. Mm -hmm. To answer a question, okay, which is different than to answer because yes. it, when I first said to answer and then to answer a question, I thought, well, isn't that the same? I mean, like, oh no, no, no. To answer is like if someone says, um, oh, going through through um, what's that? The attendance in school. Teacher says. Wayne Applewhite, here, that was my reply. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, there you go. Yes, yes. Okay, and the last one is to give a spoken or written answer. Okay. Much like you just talked about texting and, and right. whatnot, and it can be verbal and nonverbal. I get it, yes. You and know, with Sheila, Sheila, where can our listeners oh, find you? Thank you. Zeke and Sheila at yahoo.com. And I am Wayne at mindsinking.com. That's M I N D. S Y N C I N G dot com. <laughs> and this is episode number 111. 111. How There's about something that? appealing about that number. I like it's a, it's a house. It's a 100, house. 111 is a house. I used to draw, and 111 to me, uh, I automatically think of house because if you make oh. if you make the middle one a little bit taller than the left or ah, right one and okay. then you draw and then you draw a triangle on top of that and then yep. a line it, there that, you go. That's, a, that's the house there so it is. there we go yeah okay. anyway yes you well, were going to say something and i interrupted you I'm i sorry. was because i also had been curious about the difference between answer and reply so i looked that up and it said answer is often a response to a question uh, or a solution to a question whereas reply is more of a reaction uh -huh. it doesn't necessarily have a question. So they're not always interchangeable. Mm -hmm. And then, but they popped in, according to langgeek.com, short for languagegeek.com, uh, they popped in respond there too, answer versus reply versus respond. And respond is considered to be a more formal. Uh, and then reply is less formal. Oh, like reserve, reserve, s'il vous plaît. Well, I looked up something really interesting about that, too, since you mentioned it. <laughs> RSVP is actually uh -huh. French, which the translation is respond if you please. And a fellow named Rand Richards Cooper, an author, has suggested a new response, R-V-O-M, and that's in French as well. The translation is respond quickly or die. 
<laughs> so that's kind of our first quote this morning. <laughs> because wow. times have changed. Etiquette has changed. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'm thinking I'm thinking they respond quickly or die might be from the the and since we're talking about reply and okay. this is an action as opposed to an answer. Okay. Heads up. Remember? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't or, look up and see that rock coming down and don't move, you're going to die. Okay. You're right. You're right. <laughs> so, so don't thinking, pause to consider your response or your reply. Just to take action. Just take action. Exactly. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. Thank, okay. Good to know. Thank you. <clears throat> and so your initial thoughts on remember, what, what were you thinking? Well, you know, I always look for quotes first, and that kind of gets me in the mood for uh, researching a verb. I found very few that I liked. And so ah. I thought, well, this is going to be kind of a challenging word until I realized that, and I, I did, until I realized how closely connected reply is to emails and texts, et cetera. And so I went down that path. And then I was trying to research who was it that first came up with putting reply as the button on your email, and I, I couldn't find that. So mm. uh, how about you? Well, you know, my first thoughts were, hey, I'm excited. Reply. Because okay. there's, so, there's so many uses of the words reply. And I, I jumped on the internet quickly. Yep. Yep. And boy, a litany of thoughts came to mind. Okay. And as I began to do my homework, um, that excitement sort of went away. Fizzled, <laughs> did it? It did because it was all about texting and all about, yes, you know, uh, yes and replying to yes. emails and reply. And I'm thinking, oh, well, that's not exciting. That's actually kind of boring <laughs> <laughs> because well, I like, I like to in, inject into a community who I'm speaking to. Mm -hmm, yeah. I like to say that email is for information, not communication. Because when you send an email, you don't hear the tones, you don't hear the um, excitement, you don't hear the aggression or the, you know, humility in someone's voice True. when you're reading the email and you might just reply or respond some other kind of way. Um, and a lot of times people get confused. Well, I sent you an email and, and, I, and I told you how I felt and it's like, Oh, no, I didn't read it that way at all. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so I, I think if you want to mm. communicate, you still need to do it face to face, voice to voice, phone, um, telephone call, Skype or Zoom, whatever. But I, I think that, again, I, I think email is for information. Hey, we're having a meeting at two o'clock at Randy's. And that's it. Oh, I've got something else on my calendar, but thanks for reminding me. There. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, I struggled. Okay. But, and then, oh, you know, uh, never give up kicked in, and because I because I never want to give up. Okay. And my path opened up, and then excitement entered again. Okay. <clears throat> Phew. Because in our lives, and you know, I like to go down professional and personal sometimes. Yes. yes. In our lives, professionally and personally, we find ourselves in some awkward situations. True. And I said, "Ooh, this could be fun." And sometimes we know we are supposed to do something or say something and nothing happens quickly enough and you're f and you find yourself just sitting there or standing like when someone says, oh, well, thank you very much for doing that. And you're like, um, what did I do? What did I do? And I, and I don't know that I'm supposed to. I, I don't know that I like this, but or, or whatever. Or when your boss, because I, I read an article about from by Allison Green, and she says, hey, how do you respond to your boss when they ask, are you busy? Mm. <laughs> There's an awkward moment there, you know, because gotcha. you're like, yes. hey, if I say no, I'm not busy, does that mean I'm just sitting here doing nothing and getting paid for that? I, know. Or <laughs> I always have a little rule myself for that. My response is yes, um, but what do you need? Aha, okay. And and she has some very nice new terms that we use okay. today right. to 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 counter that, and I I like them as well. But I and I enjoy your, um, but what what can I do? I like that. That's that's very very cool, because it's non. It, it, yes yes. Anyway, she <laughs> says similarly, she doesn't know how to respond when the boss occasionally comes into her office and tells her that she's bored or is having a crappy day. How do you respond ah. to that? 
And I thought, oh, this could really be cool because all of these have happened to me and I'm sure to oh. all of us at one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yes. I think so, yeah. So I, I enjoyed reading their article. I, I chuckled at, at places. So again, my initial response to the word was, okay. And then it was like, oh, this is not okay. And it was back to okay. <laughs> So I enjoyed it. Yes. And, and let me tell you, as a reminder, I'm, I'm going to remind everyone, since we're talking about verbs and we do this verb every week, mm -hmm. remember that a verb is a word or a phrase that describes an action, right. condition, or experience. So just, ah. just to get that feeler out there, just, just to remind everyone what a verb really is. <laughs> well, and um, and I like talking about how we're experiencing the exploration of a verb, too. Now, maybe no one else cares to hear that, but it makes a difference in how we feel about our program. Yes, it does. <laughs> so that being said, let's jump into it. Okay. So in the context that Allison Green was talking about, yes. she says, a boss popping into your office and asking, are you busy? As opposed to a more serious discussion of workload mm -hmm. really just means can I interrupt you or is this a terrible time? Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean, are you sitting here with nothing to do or do you have enough on your plate to keep mm -hmm. you busy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she says, and of course, from some people, it just means I'm interrupting you and softening it by asking mm -hmm. this question. Mm -hmm. And I don't care if you, if I'm interrupting you or not, but, <laughs> but let's discuss what I'm here to discuss regardless. <laughs> and so she says some good responses are, and as I said, the vernacular of today, she said, okay. here's a good response. What's up? Ah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and she says, oh, I've got some time. What's up? <laughs> and then What's she up? says, I'm keeping busy, but I can make time. What's up? <laughs> okay. All right. And she said, I see a theme. yes. And she says, yes, I, I lean heavily on what's up in this context because it's a useful phrase. Okay. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I'm I'm going to stop having fun. I'll let you have some fun. Go ahead and okay. talk. Okay. Okay. Well, I started as as we both agreed, looking down, responding to emails, and I found a formula. There's a voiceofamericannews.com in 2019 published an article about how to use what words to use to increase your response rate or the reply rate to your emails. Hmm. So, there are they've done research on this, and I love research as you know. So, Yes. Number one, put only. And you do it so well. Well, thank you, thank you. This one was fun. Uh, on your subject line, use three or four words, no more. Hmm. But use at least three or four words. Uh, number number two, write at a third grade level using simple words. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Number three, make it short, only fifty to one hundred and twenty-five words. Uh, above 50%, well, uh, response rate, uh, is it, is, uh, let, let's just say when you use 50 to 125 words, there is about a 50% response rate, but you have to break it into a couple paragraphs, not one big long paragraph. Okay. Huh. Number four, ask one to three questions. When you have one to three questions, there's a, again, a 50% increased response rate than if you ask no questions. But no more than th one to three. If you at, For every question above three, your response rate goes down. Number five, show some emotion, but not too much. In other words, be very careful with your exclamation points, which I personally overuse. And as it turns out, they can be possibly annoying because they're <laughs> too positive. Similarly, don't be too negative. If you say, this is the worst company in the world, I'm never coming here again, you're not going to get a response. And it, it, if you uh, instead say something along the lines of, on Friday, I entered your store, I got this product, it does not work. You know, actually, I'm saying that in a, in a more neutral tone. But anyway, some emotion, but not too much. Uh -huh. And if you have a neutral uh, 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 tone, you'll get no response. So number six. And this, uh, they referenced Brendan Greeley at boomerang.com, who did a study only on email closings. And he gave the top eight closings and their response rates. So starting from the bottom, I'm going to go up. When you okay. say best, you get a 51.2% response rate. When you say best regards, it goes up to 529 When you say regards, we're getting up to 535 
When you say kind regards, 53.9. When you say cheers, which is more of a British thing, 54.4. When you say thank you, 57.9. When you say thanks, it hops up to 63%. And finally, when you say thanks in advance, 65.7 response rate. Really? Although personally, I like cheers best. But the bottom line is, less will get you more. Okay. And and why do you think thanks is better than thank you? Got me. Okay. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't see I don't know the difference, but okay, maybe thanks is a, a much more friendlier, informal, be, yeah. inclusive term yep. as opposed that to thank be. you being a little bit more formal. Well, that's why thanks in advance sounds like the most formal of them all. It does. It it does. That, that's but thanks what in advance research is the best one. Yep. Okay. Thanks all right, go research. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> kind of cool. And it this reminds me. A few weeks ago, we were talking about a verb, another verb, and I don't remember remember what it was, but it okay. certainly goes in line with what you're saying here. Less is better. Remember, we were talking about um, choices, and maybe it was choice. And I, I had found in the research from Psychology Today that if you give somebody 25, um, 25 choices, mm -hmm. They're probably not going to make any choice. They're not going to buy anything. But if mm -hmm. you give them one, one to five choices, they'll okay. probably walk out of the store with one. Okay. But, but if you show them twenty-five things, they're not going to leave the store with anything. Again, one to five. So I'm thinking this coincides with that. With less is yeah. best. So less is best. Huh. And I enjoyed the way that you were going with the threes because three word in the subject. Third grade level. Yep. I thought you were going to say oh, yeah. in the paragraph, three words or less. I'm like, oh, <laughs> we're going to 150. That, so, okay. Yeah. That we'll takes that much out. too long to compose an email with three <laughs> words or less. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, very good. That's very cool. I yeah. that, I like that. So, I'm okay. I'm going to start. Maybe I should go, uh, ha ha. Uh -huh. When I put our podcast up on the net, I'm going, to, I'm going to say thanks in advance for listening. Is that? There we go. That many? <laughs> yeah, we'll do our own research project. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and thanks in advance. Y yes, for listening. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Now, going back to to Miss Green here, she yes. says that with um, when your boss is your boss is telling you that she's bored or having a crappy day, is a different thing entirely than what you would think. She says, mm. I'd go with neutral. Helpful a neutral response. Okay. Helpfulish responses like anything I can do. Ah. In response to boredom and sorry to hear that in response mm. to the crappy day. Mm -hmm. And she says, with all of these scenarios, I think you're feeling more put on the spot than you need to be. Ah. It's kind of like that trick question that that my spouse typically asks. Mm. You know, does Does this shirt make my you know hips too big or look too mm. or whatever and you cannot it's a trick question and you can't win oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> you can't tread win. So I just, carefully tread carefully yeah, i just kind of mm, <laughs> and try not to oh, oh i think i need a glass of water <laughs> 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 but and she says the basic posture when your boss comes in and does it to you um that you want is pleasant helpful and sort of neutral which are three things much like you're just talking about right so yes. yes, take those. I, I I'm getting a theme of threes today. Yeah, hmm. I like that. Yes. Then there's this age old question: mm -hmm. Where would you like to get something to eat? <sighs> and again, oh, that's if your boss says that. In other words, no, just oh, just anyone, anyone. Um... And and again, we're going back to threes here. It says the first thing that you do: narrow the choices. Mm -hmm. Ah, because if you're going to just go through this litany of restaurants that you know places, you're not going. You're, you're going <laughs> to end up making a PBJ at home, and <laughs> mm. you didn't go. The the article also says this is a different article. It says offer the new. Hey, there's a new Thai restaurant down the street or on Central Avenue that I'd like to try. So that that kind of gives the out that I'm not selecting anything. Mm -hmm. However suggesting let's both explore this because I don't know it to be good or bad, but let's okay. explore it. Okay. And then some choices 
say, you know, I'm thinking soup and salad. How about you? Because okay. you're trying to get a better feel. Are they looking for something light, something heavy? Okay. Or what have you? And then the last thing they said here on that age old question of where would you like to go get something to eat, which is the awkward pause that I mentioned mm -hmm. earlier because mm -hmm. you're like, okay, this, this must be a trick question because we're never going to go anyplace. <laughs> <laughs> we had a great meal at the restaurant on ah. Vernon a month ago. How about going there? Okay. Again, it doesn't say I'm looking for fish, I'm looking for beef, I'm looking for chicken. It says, hey, we had a great meal there and a good time. How about going there? So these are great replies without reply without commitment. Exactly. Good. Exactly. Good. And without judgment. Right. Yes, which I which I really enjoyed. Yeah. And it, and that goes back to rep replying and, and how do you reply? And okay, this replies and keeps you not in trouble. <laughs> and away from that old peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's exactly right. Yes. Now, another awkward pause that we have is when mm -hmm. someone says thank you. And and me being the introvert that I am, and you know, I, I, I try to think that I'm humble at times. Sometimes I'm not. Um, <laughs> but when someone says thank you, I get embarrassed because mm. you, you know, I'm sometimes I'm thinking, I just I just did what I was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. I just, I did my best and I do my best every time. Um, and so there's no thank you needed, but I appreciate it, but I'm not going to say that. Mm -hmm. So this, this person named Keaton says, how do you reply to thank you? Um, and here's some things he says, this means a lot to me. I feel appreciated. Thanks. Huh, okay. Mm -hmm. He says, without your help, I don't think I could have done it so perfectly. So thanks to you. I like that one a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when X tells me that you make us sound good, I agree <laughs> with him. <laughs> Sheila does make us sound good. And so thank you, Sheila. <laughs> I think that's called deflecting, but okay, I'll take it. <laughs> okay, I think you're a psychologist too. Okay, I'm looking at the clock, it's 22. Ooh, Ooh so okay. I, I, will, I, will go, I will go back to you here because I'm speaking too much. Oh, well, I... Uh, did some research on why people don't reply to uh -huh. emails or texts or whatever, because again, that seems to be where much of the conversation is taking place right now. And according to Dr. Alina Tovani of My Online Therapy, oftentimes it's anxiety. People are feeling overwhelmed. Hmm. And, and it turns out you can be feeling overwhelmed by the written word as well as the spoken word. So uh, some people okay. are burned out. They spend too much time with people and then don't want to go to the the other forms of communication. Sometimes people forget. It, oftentimes, I think the, the reference to this is oftentimes we get in trouble for not replying and people take it personally. Mm. But sometimes but other reasons are socially exhausted um, because you're bombarded by too much information already. Maybe yes. you did forget and maybe you really don't want to reply to that person. There's always <laughs> that option. But it's not the predominant reason and yet Oftentimes people assume if you haven't replied that that is why you are not replying. So uh -huh. there you go. There's that. Okay. And what, where does ghosting come in? Is that totally different where you just. That's a really good question. Hmm. We're going to have to do two ghost on one of our podcasts <laughs> one time. Ooh, is, are we making up a new verb? I think. I, we'll have to look it up and see if it's a verb, but we won't do that right this minute because we still have <laughs> re replying responsibilities. Yes. Okay. Um, all right. Another thing that Keaton says to reply as to a thank you, he says, mm -hmm. I just gave my best as I promised. And wow, I think I said that already. I, I do. I try to do my best all the time. And thank you for giving me a chance to prove myself. Oh, I like ah. that one. Um, he says, well, it's not only me but the entire team helped me a lot. Now, I have to say, I sent an email to a friend the other day. Um, she's in Canada, mm -hmm. she's Canadian, and we banter back and forth between Canada and the US in competition, <laughs> sports competitions all the time. Okay. And I told her, I said, hey, Canada is playing the US in the, IH, the, in the International Hockey Foundation um, Championships. And they're going up the ladders. And so right now, Canada is playing the U.S. when we're in overtime. And I said, good luck to Canada. And then I said, go U.S. <laughs> and she, she sends me back an email and says, hey, nice goal. You guys won. And I go, yeah. And then I said, and here's where I'm getting to. Okay. At the end of all of those games, they always have 
the announcer or or whomever's doing this, they always announce the best player on both teams. Oh, and I'm okay. and, and I never really liked the best player on a team. Okay, because I said if the other members of the team weren't out there, ah. that person couldn't do whatever they think this is okay. enough to. Be yeah. Fair. So I think all the members on the team are best. Um. And I, I don't know. I, I saw that she agreed with me. And so okay. it says, well, it's not only me, but the entire team helped me a lot. Mm. Keeps me, keeps me grounded there where, mm. you know what? I don't think with, I don't think one person can take all the credit. I, I, I would have to agree with you on that. It is a team effort. And without yes. everyone doing their part from the lowest person on the totem pole to the highest person, it doesn't get done. Right. So Maybe someone contributed a little bit more than others, but I don't think there's a most valuable player there. I, I just never really liked that. Anyway, and I, I've won a lot of those. I got MVPs on lots of things, but I, mm. I still, and, I, and that made me embarrassed too, because I'm like, no, <laughs> without uh, them doing what they did, I couldn't have done what I did. So we all go there. I agree. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> The last one he said yes. was, and I'll stop there because it's 2609, so I'll leave okay. it back to you. Okay. Your your encouragement helped me a lot to make it perfect. So Ooh. I like those. I Reply. do too. I do too. Very gracious. Absolutely. Yes. Good. So we have two trivia questions, right? Two trivia questions. Your first related text to each other. Message? Oh, the year the first text message? The year the first text message was, was, was 1992. And it was sent from a computer because you remember they didn't have much in the way of mobile <laughs> devices at that time. Yes. And then the second one to compare and contrast is by 2020, 2.2 trillion text messages were sent. 2.2 trillion. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Right. I hope there's a, a computer counting these and not a person. That one, <laughs> two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Yes. I, I hope so, too. Okay. All right. All right. Sheila, we are at 2708. What do you think? I want to say thank you to folks who have been listening to us today. We appreciate if you would reply. Thank you in advance if you would reply <laughs> as to whether <laughs> this topic was worth your time today. No, no. Just kidding. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Wayne, very much. This turned out to be fun. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Sheila. See you Bye. next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.